everyone uh, welcome to my channel in this video i will talk about the updates of the marching squares node and the new node that i have added is the marching triangles so first uh, i will talk about the updates of the marching squares node the first major update is that related to the performance of this node now it is faster than the previous version that i have showed in my previous tutorial the second update is related to the output mesh. In the previous version, the, this mesh has disconnected edges. Now, the outputs are connected edges. So, you don't need to use a weld modifier or remove doubles node to connect the edges. I'll demonstrate that. First, we need to generate splines from this uh, mesh. So we need uh, create from edges node and change this to per branch and then connect this edge to edge this is. So now we have the splines for the contours from this marching squares node. We can view these splines by connecting these splines to the curve object output node and we also need to add this noise file off so we have this contour let me increase the number of divisions and also crank up the, this frequency we have these contours now if i go to the edit mode see all these edges are connected and the third uh, update is the new mode it has smash mode the grid mode that i have explained in my previous uh, video uh, this is the new mode is the mesh you can generate the contours with marching squares node on any mesh surface that has quad polygons based on this fall off so in this case we have this uh, cube object and we can get this mesh using input node and now we have curve on this uh, cube let's increase it is the number of uh, subdivisions select the cube and add subdivision modifier now enable this use modifier and we have contour on the mesh surface see and like this grid mode you can input a list of threshold values in mesh mode you can also input a multiple values for the threshold if we add a list of uh, floats for the threshold we can create multiple contours so with this node you can create a uh, contours on any mesh that has quad polygons and for example if you have mesh that has uh, non quad polygons or mixed polygons like quad and triangles for that you can use the new node is the marching triangles this node basically take any kind of mesh and then triangulate the mesh and then use for the matching uh, triangles so if we add a sphere let's hide the cube and select the sphere and disconnect this node and let's connect this matching triangles node right now it generates the contours but they are very uh, jagged because we need to increase the number of subdivisions of this uh, sphere see 
we have contours on the this uh, sphere mesh and you can also use on on the cube this on the sphere we can also use uh, this monkey as a mesh we need to increase the number of subdivisions we have this contours on this monkey mesh with these two nodes you can generate contour on any mesh surface and especially this mesh mode is very powerful to generate uh, these contours and that's it about uh, these two nodes now i'll break down one of my project file to explain these functionality of these nodes further so here is uh, my project file and i have basically created this kind of animation with these marching squares node and other set of nodes so let's hide the contour and the particles first i will show you how to create this base mesh i use the grid mesh then offset it is vertices based on this noise fall off and the object controller fall off this noise fall off give this kind of effect and this object uh, controller fall off give this and if we combine them with maximum we get this kind of uh, animated mesh then I use uh, this mesh with the, the marching squares node and in this case I want to generate the contours based on the distance or basically along the height uh, on the z axis of this object so for that we have uh, these vertices of this uh, mesh if we make the z axis scale 0 we have this uh, vertices in the xy plane and then we can calculate the distance from these vertices and then i use that distance for the custom follow and with this setup we have these contours and they are follow the underlying mesh surface and one thing i would like to mention here is that if you use uh, directly this spline as output sometime it creates this kind of uh, pinching effect the reason for this pinching effect is uh, that because marching squares node generate the contours and then also smooth them because we have finite number of these polygons so that's why some of the points come closer and generate this pinching effect in case of on these splines so i just resample them and to remove this uh, kind of effect and for point scattering i use uh, this mesh point scatter node with edges because our mesh has edges and we can scatter uh, random points on those edges and then use those points these are the points and then use those points to replicate or the mesh uh, on the contour curves in this case i use the psychosphere and these are the points on the contours to generate the light effects so these nodes are very powerful and you can generate uh, contours on any mesh surface and i hope you like this work and please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy nodding bye